Making sure that your thesis, research paper, or essay is up to academic standards can be so confusing and frustrating. I found a tool that can help you do just that, and I gotta say, oh, this could be one of the best academic tools I've ever reviewed for that purpose. Let's check it out. The AI tool we're talking about today is Thesify.ai, and here it's Get Expert feedback on your essays, thesis, dissertations, and research papers so you can meet the highest academic standards. There's this cute little cat that will help you along the way, and let's check it out. So the first thing I want to do is log in. So when you log in, you sign up and you end up here. And this is it, the pre-submission assessment. Upload your thesis, manuscript, or essay, and let Theo, which is this little dude in the corner, hello, you cute little cat, give you insightful feedback, related resources, and everything. Now, this goes far beyond just giving you feedback. And you'll see what I mean. Stay around because it is just sort of the academic toolkit I think we've been waiting for. All right then. So the first thing we do is head over here and you can click to upload or drag and drop stuff here. So I can go in and I can select any of these kind of documents. Here are some papers, but it can be a draft essay. It can be a thesis chapter. They do say upload your thesis, but at the moment there's a 10 megabyte limit. Oh, there it is peaking there, 10 megabyte limit. And my thesis was actually 40 one for nearly 42 megabytes. So you can't upload an entire thesis yet, but you can put in a chapter, I guess. Um, and here, let's just go to this one. Let's have a look at that one and open it up. And when it opens, you'll get sort of like step through these questions. The first thing they want to know is, are you the author? Yes, I'm the author. Select the type of document. And this is where it kind of like adjusts its feedback based on sort of like the sort of document that you are writing. So here we've got scientific paper, thesis, essay, grant proposal, which I like, um, report, annotated bibliography, 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 or other. Um, so here is a scientific paper, so we'll click next. And then here it's one is submitted, but you can also sort of like provide an outline, early draft, advanced draft, or final draft. At the moment, they've told me that this doesn't really sort of like help the response, um, but in the future it will. So make sure you fill this out. This one is submitted, and then type of study down here is chemistry, and that's going to give me field specific and field appropriate responses. And then we click next, and then we do our AI waiting game. But this this one isn't too long, um, still enough for a little bit of a dance, oosh, 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 but we ain't got time for that, time is money. So let's go to ones that I've had looked at before. Down here we've got the different ones I've uploaded, so my scientific paper, graphene thickness paper, let's have a look at this first one here. So this is one of my papers that I've put in, and uh, you'll get taken to this kind of um, layout, and on the side here we can have a look at the document in its entirety, or we can have a look at the PDF and then have the feedback on the side. My understanding is that in this view, this is sort of like on the uh, first sort of like 200 words, um, you know, in terms of the uh, uh, like uh, resources and, and stuff that we'll talk about in a minute. So uh, if you click on this one, apparently it's the whole document. It's a little bit of a subtle thing that they need to make more clear. So in this view, the gold is on the side. Let's collapse this so we get to see it properly. Um, this is the feedback page. And you get all of these different drop downs and feedback, general feedback, what works well, what can be improved, and overall assessment. And let me tell you this going through this, I was very impressed with the academic standard at which they are providing the feedback. It is like having a supervisor in a cat form, providing a robot cat form, in fact, providing you with really, really great field specific feedback. Um, and it tells you exactly what you can do. It's got recommendations. There he is, Theo. Hello, mate. <coughs> Um, and then we've got, okay, expand the related work overview. This has got high impact. So these are the things that I can do to make sure this paper is better. Even though it's been submitted, you know, you could do this with a draft one. Suggested topics. So this is uh, any suggested topics that um, we may want to sort of like talk about in the paper that you know, this is what could be improved. So what is the significance of using p.pss and how does the sheet resistance, and this is just perfect. These are the sorts of questions that reviewers will have when they're reviewing your paper or looking at your thesis. This just makes it so obvious that you should address these. Be ahead of the game, be one step ahead. You're playing 4D chess right now when you're submitting. Blah, 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 blah. I love this. Okay, so all of this. And then we've got what was actually answered. What are the key properties of the planar transparent electrode and all of this stuff? Lovely, lovely, lovely. So let's collapse that. It goes even more. We've got purpose. So if we open this up, you can see um, what can be improved. So the purpose here is whether or not the um, scientific paper was able to argument the purpose of this paper 
well. That was it really. So the one thing it's telling me here is it can be improved, but here, um, these are the things that, uh, you know, I promised and, and then I hopefully provided. So the scientific paper must explain the process and then says, yes, I did that. And it says the scientific paper must summarize the key finding. Yes, I did that. So these are all the things that I've met. Down here are some of the things that could improve. So the scientific paper must evaluate the advantages and limitations. So I didn't really do um, the limitations or areas for potential improvement. Oh, naughty me, slap on the wrist. That could have been improved. And also down here, the scientific paper must analyze the results of the experiment. Um, and so it, has, it says, I discussed the implications, but not extensively consider the alternative interpretations or counter arguments. That's not really a thing in my field. Like it's like, here's the data. This is what it says. If I can prove that, that's great. So overall, I think this is so great for making you just consider the sorts of arguments you said you would present and making sure you actually met them. Otherwise, you're going to get some very upset reviewers, especially reviewer two who's going to be like, oh, I didn't think you did this. This isn't ready for peer review. No, shut up reviewer two. And then here we've got feedback on rough draft. So if you're at a draft stage, you can go down here and the thesis statement. So the thesis statement here of a peer reviewed paper is essentially like the hypothesis and therefore the thesis that you're trying to prove. Um, and here it says like, uh, these are the things that I could be improved. So the thesis statement it, it said was this, which is great. You can edit it and rerun it if it didn't pull out the best sort of like thesis statement. But I like quite like this and it's always done really well with my tests. And then it says, does your thesis statement pass the so what test? No. Oh, 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 that makes me sad. People would read this and be like, so what? I didn't make it clear. Damn it. Um, and then you've got how and why test. Can your thesis statement be challenged? This is actually no, but that's a good thing because I presented the data to support my thesis so it cannot be challenged. So that should be a red, uh, no, that should, no, ah, that should be a green no, right? Because this is like, this statement presents facts and figures from so blah, 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 and then it is a fact. Great, my thesis statement can't be challenged. That's a good thing, turn it to green. All right then, let's move on. Does your essay support the thesis statement? And then yes, yes, yes. Okay, so over this, like this is the sort of feedback that is really hard to get sometimes from your supervisor. You know that the reviewers are gonna be looking for these sort of things. If you wanna increase the rate of acceptance or the just sort of like rigorousness, the robustness of your academic arguments, I don't think you can do much better than this at the moment in terms of feedback, just incredible. And then down here, the last one, we've got evidence. Um, apparently it can be improved as well. Oh. Oh, sad face. Okay, so evidence and thesis statement that's been met. And then also it says strong evidence support in the thesis statement, good, good, good. And then this one, it says like evidence was missing a reference. This is about like purchasing from uh, the silver nanowires. So I don't really care about that. But here I kind of agree with this one. So apparently it's not this one. Further improvements are expected once the device fabrications are fully explored. Yeah, hmm. Okay, bit of a wishy-washy statement there. I get it, I agree with you. Why didn't I address that? Who knows, it's published. Chalk it up though, that's good, it's published. Ha, ha, move on. Okay, so weak analysis pattern. Oh, no one likes to hear that. Um, but these are the things that it's, it recommends. Um, quality and types of insurance, interpretation of evidence. So overall, like this really is, I think, the best academic level feedback I've seen an AI tool give, and it gets even better, because check out this. Okay, so in this PDF view, we've also got these things up here, resources and collections. The resources thing is just something I've never seen before, but it's so great. You click there, you've also got publications, other publications that are similar to your paper or whatever you've uploaded. I really like that. That just means that you kind of like are abreast of all of the things that you should actually know about. This is where I think it gets really cool though. Journals, if you're thinking about submitting a peer reviewed paper or something to a journal, here it's sort of like weighed up in two ways and I like both of them. The first one is the match factor, which I assume this is like, this is the best journal because it's got papers that are similar to yours in it, that sort of thing. So match here is 86% and impact factor is 5.53. Ooh. I take that in my field. That's quite high for my field. Um, and then uh, here we've got impact factor 31.84. No, I, I don't think I'll try that one. But it just gives you all of the journals that you could potentially sort of uh, publish in. And look how many there are. You can work your way down this list and just find the appropriate journal for your study. Absolutely love that. Conferences is another thing. 
click on this tab, bonk, and we've got all of the conferences that I could go to to talk about and present this paper. I've never seen anything that's as accurate as this on in the AI world, and uh, it's another little kind of like extra thing that I wasn't expecting from this that they do really well. Thanks very much, Thesify. So here we are, there's conferences, journals, publications, and also you can get all of that information by clicking here as well. If you click on the big uh, title that's generated, here's Theo, hey Theo. <coughs> Um, you get your research question. This is the, the, the what the paper or what you're uploading is actually kind of like trying to answer. Um, and then here we've got the feedback. Obviously, this is all the feedback that we've just seen. Um, and the research opportunities. Oh, this is another good little bit. So if you click on research opportunities, discover more, this will give you the sort of like logical next steps for you to take based on what you presented and the gaps I guess that it sees. So here we've got impact of synth synthesis, enhancing efficiency, uh, development of self-healing transparent electrodes, I, ooh, I like that one, and then you can click here show related resources. You click on the show related resources and it will show you the resources that it recommends you read if you are thinking about extending your research field into this area. Processing, processing, time to do the AI dance. Oh, it's over. Um, and if you scroll down, you'll see if it's an open access uh, journal, which none of those are, but let's go back and see if we can find a uh, open access journal. It will show this, Theo's Digest. There he is, the little cat again, meow. Um, Theo's Digest, here he is, and then you end up with this one. And also, this isn't about sort of like getting an in-depth sort of like massive overview. This is just about knowing whether or not you want to read the paper in a greater detail, or if you just want to sort of discard it and it's not your worth your time. Okay, we got to do a little bit of the AI waiting game. <laughs> We're in. All right then, here we got abstract. Abstract, uh, transparent electrodes, blah, blah, blah. So this gives us a summary of all of the things that this open access paper um, tells us. We got the summary, we got the keywords, main claims. You can just sort of like scan this and be like, do I want to actually read this? If you do want to read it, click here on download, save it right to your computer, put it in your reference manager. Uh, there you go, reference manager. Or if you want to share it, you go up here and it gives you a little link that you can copy and you don't need to be signed in. You can send this to anyone. There we are, look at this. You put that in and it takes you right to that article that you want to share. Overall, this is just an incredible tool. It's got so many little bits and don't just, you know, don't let Thesify, the, the, the name of this uh, AI tool, put you off because you can use this for thesis, for papers, for grant proposal for drafts at any stage during the writing process to make sure you're meeting the most rigorous of academic standards, this will help you. If your supervisor's a bit of a pain in the ass and won't get back your drafts or any feedback, or you wanna make sure that you know your paper or your thesis is great before submitting it, I can't think right now of a better tool that actually does this. It seems to be made by researchers for researchers, and at the moment they've got a special deal. I don't know what the deal is, but it looked like a good deal to me for a year um, and also you get free coins so go try it for free for your research field one thing I would like to do actually is put in a research field if you want to know like a, a research gap you could go here click on here upload a research paper go to the research um, stuff so click on this bit and then go to our research opportunities you've got your research gaps that's great or for free as well you get I think 20 or 10, I can't remember. I think it's 20 of these little coins um, to use. And uh, yeah, there's so many ways you could use this, but ultimately for what it does, give you feedback, make sure you're meeting academic standards. It doesn't get much better at the moment. If you like this video, check out this one where I talk about, what do I talk about? What elite PhDs do differently. Go check it out. <laughs>